Okay, we started with some basic information about what is the Bible and what is the New Testament. We moved on to talk about what was the Greco-Roman world like, right? We talked about what Roman religions were like and how they were different from the Jewish traditions. Then we went on to talk about what was ancient Judaism like. So we have two points of connection. The, the New Testament did not appear in a vacuum. It appeared in the Greco-Roman and Jewish world. So we talked first about what the Greco-Roman world was like. Then we talked about what the Jewish world was like. We talked about specifically some of the different groups, right? There was armed military Jewish groups who were ready to set up the next what? What were some of them looking forward to? There are armed military groups hoping to set up the next army or like resistance. What'd you say? You said like colony, not really, but no, that's not it. Who ruled the Jews during this time period? The Romans, right? Did they like that? No. Who did they want to rule? Themselves. Themselves, right? And what do you call someone who's a leader of a Jewish group? It's not weird. This should be straightforward. Messiah? Yes, Messiah, right? They wanted their own king. Just a couple hundred years ago, not even a couple hundred years ago, those Maccabeans set up the Maccabean kingdom where we had our own king, our own Messiah. Messiah literally means anointed one, which is what a king was. That's also, um, well, Messiah is the Hebrew term. What's the Greek term? Christ. Christ. Messiah, Christ, exact same word. They were looking forward to the next Messiah. There were armed Jewish groups intending to set up the next Messiah, right? They wanted to overthrow the Romans and set up the next Jewish Messiah. That was one type of group, right? Messianic groups who were hoping to install the next Messiah. There were also the Sadducees, the Pharisees. We talked about them last time. We also talked about the Essenes. Who are the Essenes? Anthony. Yeah, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Right. Presumably they're the group that wrote the Dead Sea Scrolls. And I remember I said, like, there's no proof that they wrote the Dead Sea Scrolls, but where the Essenes lived is right next to where we found the Dead Sea Scrolls, so we assume that they are the, the Essene scriptures. Tell me a little bit more about them. They were apocalyptic. They were apocalyptic. Jackie? They were not mentioned. Yes, they are not. They are not specifically mentioned in the New Testament. They believe in the Messiah and the King of the Priests. Well, they. Um, I think what you're saying is they. They were looking forward to two messiahs. They thought there would be two messiahs. One, a Messiah King, and the other a Messiah Priest. So they were hoping. They were an apocalyptic group. They were hoping that the apocalypse would come, and after the apocalypse came, God would institute. A, you know, two leaders, one king to rule them and one priest to lead them at the temple. Tell me a little bit more about apocalypticism. Or, or not. What were you going to... I was going to say something else about the... Like, Essenes. Yeah. Yes. They, um, they were a group outside of Jerusalem. They lived in the wilderness or outside yeah, they lived outside Jerusalem. They started a little commune where they were sequestered and segmented from society at large. Um, they did allow converts. Remember I said that they were celibate. They didn't allow marriages, so they weren't producing children. The only way they could grow the community was by having converts. So they weren't totally cut off, but they were largely cut off, and they lived in their, their tight community. Tell me a little bit more about apocalypticism. We know that the Essenes were an apocalyptic group. Tell me about apocalypticism. Well, there is, um, I guess, a specific person that played the Son of Man, who was sort of, their role was to, I guess, choose whether or not you were able to stay. Yeah, the apocalyptic groups 
talked about this figure that they called the Son of Man, and usually it was talked about in the context of when the apocalypse came, the Son of Man was going to judge who was on the good side and who was on the evil side. What else do you know about apocalypticism? Jackie? Yeah, apocalypticists believe that there was good people and bad people in the world. There was a good side and a bad side. And when the apocalypse came, which side was going to win the battle? Good. The good is necessarily going to win because God is on their side. And God is obviously the more powerful side. So there's a good side and there's a bad side. And when the apocalypse comes, you want to be on the good side because after the apocalypse, presumably the Son of Man is going to choose whether or not you were on the good side or the bad side. And what happens to the bad people? Destroyed. They're going to be destroyed. Now the reason why I'm talking so much about the Essenes is that the War Scroll is one of the Dead Sea Scroll texts. All the things that we've just been talking about that are features of apocalypticism, you should see several of these in the War Scroll. from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Probably Essene. Probably produced by one of these, uh, by the Essene community. They were highly apocalyptic, and this text itself is highly apocalyptic. And also as we reiterate, there were going to be two messiahs according to this group after the apocalypse, a priestly messiah and a kingly messiah. Now the term messiah in the general context of ancient Judaism or first century Judaism, which one did people normally think of when they heard Messiah? Yeah. Normally people thought Messiah, anointed one, anointed to be king. This was, when, when people talked about Messiah, let's get a new Messiah, they were mostly talking about a new king. Now we see the two sides in the war scroll, remember, apocalypticism has a good side and a bad side. What's the good side called? And what's the bad side called? See this right at the beginning of the reading on 163. Kristen? Um, that the sons of light and the sons of darkness? Yep. Right? So another feature of the apocalypticism, right? There's an opposition between good and evil. Here it's the sons of light versus the sons of darkness. Now look on 163 here. 